Today we explore the most unfriendly cities the United States has to offer here in 2023. Human beings, theoretically, should be friendly all the time. If that's how it was, we would all just have a much happier and easier life. We could get things done and the world would work much smoother. But that isn't the reality. I mean, we're talking about human beings and when we get involved, it rarely works out the way it should. And then we find ourselves in the situation where we have a bunch of unfriendly people roaming our streets. In my experience, unfriendly people are usually dealing with some stuff. They're lonely, they have some mental issues, they have a rash on their undercarriage, or maybe they're Philadelphia Eagles fans and they haven't recovered from the Super Bowl 57 loss. God, that was a bad call at the end of that game. I'm not a Philly fan and I haven't recovered. But no matter where you go, you will find unfriendly people. In some places, those people are just easier to find. We ran a poll asking people what they felt the most unfriendly cities in the US were. I also left an optional section where they could leave reasons as to why they felt this was an unfriendly city or the people were unfriendly. And I'll tell you one thing I learned from that there are a lot of people out there trashing entire cities because of bad relationships that ended poorly there's a lot of angry women out there so today we look at what 4,753 people felt were the most unfriendly cities in the u.s got it get it good let's take a look Number 10, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is the capital of Oklahoma and it is known for its cowboy culture and its capital grounds like the Capitol building and they have working oil wells on the property. If you don't know, Oklahoma has a long history with oil. In my personal experience, I've never had a problem when I've gone to Oklahoma City. The people have been wonderful. Even they had friendly cops and I was doing some stupid shit with the drone. Now, the comment section of any video that I've ever made about Oklahoma City, that's a different story. They get a little angry and I remember one man years ago claimed I had a cow turd for a brain. I don't know how he got a hold of my medical records, but I thought that was kind of rude. Some kind of HIPAA violation, I'm sure. Oklahoma City has a population of about 700,000 with the entire metro area having about one point. 5 million. And what it looks like is a lot of people think they're unfriendly, especially a woman named Carla who wrote, if you get involved with a man from Oklahoma City, you're just stupid. And then she put in parentheses, toxic masculinity. Number nine, Providence, Rhode Island. You know, this is really strange. I did a video just the other day and Providence showed up. I never talk about Providence. Here they are twice in one month. New England is a great place to live, but they sort of have a reputation for being a little rude and possibly unfriendly. The problem with Providence is they're also a little snobby. Providence doesn't have the greatest weather and I'm sure that plays a part in why people here are so unfriendly. Gray skies most of the year really works on someone's emotional state. I guess the gray skies were too much for this dude, so he painted his house bright orange. I don't know, that house makes me kind of happy. And that's not just because it's the same color of my car, my tool chest, my toaster, and most of my clothes. Yes, sometimes I leave the house dressed like orange sherbet. My wife won't go places with me on those days. Providence has a high cost of living, high taxes, and housing is sort of unaffordable here. So I'm sure that plays into why people are so unfriendly as well. One man named Mike K said the problem with Providence Rhode Island is the people just don't have time for you or being friendly. Said it's something they kind of take pride in. Number eight, Orlando, Florida. Now, this might surprise you because it's kind of known as the happiest place on earth with Disney World there. But the locals are very unfriendly. And that you'll find on this list has a lot to do with what goes on there. It's a tourist town. Locals love tourists because that's basically what pays their bills, but at the same time, they hate the tourists because a lot of tourists do stupid crap. And really, it's not just the locals. It's normally the parents that have to take their kids to Disneyland. The kids are having a good time, but the parents are thinking about how much it's costing them. And this makes people very unfriendly. You can find this unfriendliness in traffic, at cash registers, in two-hour lines for the teacups. Super Mom Kelly wrote, I hate Disney. I hate the people at Disney. I hate thinking about Disney. If my kids ask me to go back, it takes everything I have not to cry. We went to Disney three years ago. I just finished paying it off. Yeah, so you can imagine Supermom Kelly is one of those unfriendly people you'd run into if you were visiting Orlando. Number seven, Los Angeles, California. Do you really need to throw the California in there? Is there another Los Angeles? I do 
automatically. I grew up in the Los Angeles metro area and I could tell you the biggest problem with the unfriendliness of Los Angeles, they're freaking snobby, terribly snobby. And this translates into an unfriendly experience for most out of towners. Oddly enough, the friendliest people in Los Angeles are normally the homeless people. They also seem to be the happiest people every time I run into them in LA. Now, this isn't the first time I've done a poll where people have brought up how unfriendly the people of Los Angeles are. You don't expect it. Los Angeles Angeles is warm weather, you know, sunshine all the time, we got beaches, you'd think we'd just be happy down there. No, not at all. We look down our noses at everyone and we treat them in a very unfriendly manner. Now, obviously that's not everyone. I'm sure there's wonderful people in Los Angeles. I don't know many of them. I would say the odds of running into someone unfriendly are better than running into someone that's friendly in the Los Angeles metro area. Kyle wrote, if you want to see unfriendly people in Los Angeles, get on the 405 freeway at rush hour and that's all you'll see. Number six, Las Vegas, Nevada. Much like Orlando, Las Vegas has the same tourist problems. The locals understand that's where a lot of the money they make comes from, but they still gotta deal with the nonsense that tourists usually try and pull off whenever they're in Sin City. Even though it's called Sin City, everything is not legal. I know a few girls that have worked there at different bars and casinos, usually serving drinks or things like that, and they've all complained and said that every single time there's a convention, in town, old businessmen from the middle of America seem to think that there's a magic word or a price that'll get you up to their room. One friend of mine, Michelle, said if the chances of you scoring with a 25-year-old girl back in Iowa are zero, your odds are the same in Las Vegas with a cocktail waitress. Las Vegas has a population of about 641,000 residents with the entire metro area having about 2.2 million residents. That's just the people that live there. On any given weekend, the number of people in Las Vegas and the metro area can almost double. Number five, Washington, D.C. The people of Washington, D.C. are very unfriendly, and that's just the politicians. The residents of Washington, D.C. tend to be a little rude as well. It's sort of overcrowded, they got traffic problems, they don't have the best weather, and they have to deal with a lot of garbage a lot of other cities don't have to deal with. And then you got the tourists. Tourists are there all year round. The city also has heightened security all the time, and this just kind of wears on you as well. It disrupts whatever you're doing. If you're traveling, driving around the city, you got to worry about that garbage. And on top of it, there's lobbyists and lawyers everywhere in this city, and they're just arrogant a-holes. But one of the biggest problems is the amount of police and security type people in Washington, D.C. is kind of incredible. If you've ever been there, it's, it's a little mind-blowing, and they don't really get trained in customer service that often. Ted said, the people and the going ons of Washington DC are an embarrassment to this country. Then he said, people in Washington DC are rude and evil. That's a bit much, Ted. Number four, Detroit, Michigan. How could the people of Detroit not be unfriendly? I mean, horrible weather. City is just run down. It's dangerous. People that visit are in fear for their life. There aren't enough jobs to go around. This kind of makes people unfriendly. Detroit, you know, outside of summer is just one of those places where the sky is gray, gloomy, it rains or it snows. You're always cold. It's like ingredients for a unfriendly person cocktail. Detroit, it's estimated, has 632,000 residents. In 2020, they had 639,000. They have been hemorrhaging residents since the 1960s. When the city itself, not the metro area, maxed out at 1.8 million residents. Now the entire metro area currently has about 4.3 million residents. That's including places like Dearborn, Plymouth, Pontiac, Warren, and a whole bunch of other places. But yeah, Detroit's just sort of a depressing city and of course the people are going to be unfriendly. Joel Naper wrote, if you order an Uber in Detroit, you pray they show up in a Brinks truck.
Number three, Boston Mass. You know what? Boston has a horrible history of rudeness. It's just the way they are. And a lot of it has to do with how they communicate. It's very aggressive and very much in your face. New Jersey shares the same thing. They may not see it as rude, but to outsiders, it seems very rude and unfriendly. Boston is also a very busy and expensive city, so that never makes people happy. Now, once you get outside of the inner city part and out to some of the suburbs, it's a little bit different, but downtown Boston and the immediate area around it, yeah, they're pretty rude. And it's weird. It's almost like they pride themselves on it. Boston also has the problem with a whole bunch of tourists. It's very much a historical touristy town. Jules said, it's better now with smartphones, but when I was a teenager in South Boston, tourists would always ask for directions and we would always send them in the wrong direction. What's funny about that, I grew up in a beach community in Southern California. When I was a kid, people would, hey, which way's the beach? You know, and they're like, four blocks away from the beach, we'd send them the other direction. Number two, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Known as the city of brotherly love, it really isn't. Philadelphia is almost an extension of New Jersey. New Jersey people are rude. I'm really shocked none of the New Jersey cities made it onto this list. If we would have counted the top 20, they might have made the list. There wasn't that many things for like Trenton or Camden even. Camden's dangerous and unfriendly. Normally when something is dangerous, and your life's at risk, I'd consider it unfriendly. But here we are at Philadelphia. Philadelphia is another historical place with a lot of tourists. It also has some scary neighborhoods. If you're not from this part of the country, like Philly or anywhere in New Jersey and parts of New York, you probably don't know, but they drop the F-bomb like it's nothing. I've always akin it to how in California, people say dude or like all the time. Like Boston and what I was saying about New Jersey, it's just the way they communicate it seems rude to outsiders. Now, they kind of are unfriendly to tourists, just like any place that gets a lot of tourists, like we've gone over several times. The people of Philly are a little rough. That's just kind of their thing. Philadelphia is a big city. They've got a population of about 1.6 million residents. That's in the city alone. In the whole metro area, it's closer to 6.2. That's the seventh largest city in the United States. So there's a lot of potential there for running into some unfriendly people. Charlene wrote, never wear a New York Giants jersey, t-shirt, or hat here unless you really want to experience some unfriendly behavior. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link for that channel below. All right, on to number one. And number one, New York City, New York. This is the poster child for rude and unfriendly. Their reputation for being unfriendly goes way, way back. And it's a little surprising considering how many people just have flooded here over the decades and decades. It's a giant melting pot. You think at some point they would have learned to get along and be friendly with each other. It's not just outsiders they're unfriendly to. They're unfriendly to each other on a regular basis. It's just sort of their thing. The middle finger and the F word are part of daily communication in New York City. On top of that, the weather isn't the greatest. They have an extremely high cost of living. And in my experience, almost everyone you run into in the tourist area always seem like they're working some kind of scam. It's really weird. I mean, you can find that anywhere, but I have never felt that as much as I do when I've gone to New York City. And that's unfriendly behavior. And don't expect to go into like retail places or restaurants and get some friendly service there. No, customer service really isn't much of a thing in New York City. You really go into a restaurant and they kind of treat you like you're lucky they're there and you're lucky they let you in. New York City is the most populated city we have in the United States. It's also the most densely populated city. They had 8.8 .8 million residents in the 2020 census and right now in 2022 it's estimated that they've lost about 400,000 residents. It's still too crowded. The entire metro area has like 20 million residents. When people live on top of each other, it's not a good thing. You get a lot of crime, you get a lot of extra BS and a lot of unfriendly and rude people. Just how it is. And my favorite response through this whole thing was from a guy named Lou. All he said was, it's New York City, no sh**. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, be nice to each other.